Hey guys, it's you here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I have this brown AF, very neutral, brown makeup look for you. She's very much so what I usually do, just slightly remixed. So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So if you are interested in seeing how I accomplish this look, then just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, join the Nanji gang, 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 and let's get into this video. Okay, so let's dive in. The base that's on my face right now is the same base for my everyday makeup. I was like, let's just keep it as simple as possible. I didn't bronze. Actually, I did bronze. I lied. <laughs> so this is basically the same base for my everyday makeup routine up to bronzer and setting spray. No highlighter, no nothing. But I figured that would make things a lot easier. This brow routine also already on my channel. So I'll just be leaving links for you right here. So let's get into the rest of this face. We're going to be using Oma Beauty's Black Magic Palette in Poise. The reason why is... Let's start with Isha, which is a nice transition shade. And I love this color by itself, just to add dimension to my eyes sometimes. I did the least, but my face is doing the most. I always pack on Omo to highlight my brow bone very softly. I cut the camera to change the lighting settings. So if it looks warmer in here, that's good. That's because I'm brown, that's how it looks. But I kept doing my makeup <laughs> and the camera wasn't on. So right now we are dabbling into Mother and you want to create a winged effect with all these browns. It should be very dramatic. And if something comes across too harsh, blend it out with Asia or a clean brush. And then go in with Poise and just deepen your crease and look up in order for you to know where your crease lives. And drag this out to complement that wing we've been building. And take some mother if it's a little too dark. You can also use Feminist if you want lots more of that red-brown energy. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer, I'm just gonna cut the crease. Unnecessary, but I like to do it. I'm just gonna wing it out. And then we're gonna pack Omo on top, which is why I said it's kind of unnecessary because once you've done your base, it's basically the same shape, but this just makes sure that your line is looking nice and crisp. Then for eyeliner, we're gonna use the Sephora eyeliner. This is in, I always forget the name of this shade, Satin Chocolate Brown. I'm just gonna wanna like close off the wing of the eye. So while this right down, we're gonna go into highlighter. Today we're gonna to be using Money Bags from Lavishly. It's a pressed highlighter. And I don't wanna put on too much because those days are behind me. I will be highlighting my temples today because I feel like the concealer is doing that for me. So it's a no ma'am. For blush, I'm gonna be using my Sephora Pro Palette. I feel like I only bring her out in the winter time. And the shade is Premier. And she's a really rich red. And the reason why is because sometimes this red looks Kind of brown. Okay, and I just mixed in like Epic and Jet Setter, which are brown bronzers in here, just to kind of help not overpower the red, but I don't know how to describe it. I just had to mix it onto my cheekbones. And then set. And now we're gonna put on lashes. I'm just gonna get some lash glue on my lash line. I should have put on mascara, but that's okay. And these are the Confidence Lashes from Artie Beauty. And then for our under eye, we're gonna just do a bit of a, like a reverse fox. Um, or is it cat? I don't know. Let's start with Asia, our lightest shade that we used. Well, not our lightest, but our medium shade that we used. Mother, Feminist. And please, I just want to put on the outer corner. Then we're gonna take our Makeup Forever eyeliner, and I think this is in Bisque, Boundless Bisque, yep, Boundless Bisque, just to do our waterline. 
a little bit of NYX retractable pencil in black, just on the outer. Lower lash line, mascara. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. Now for lips, brown lip liner, Max Chestnut. Chestnut. Then we're gonna use Pat McGrath's Christie lipstick. And she's very pink. But the gloss is not. And then we're gonna to top it in Flesh for Lust Gloss. And then lips looking juicy. I'm gonna go lay my baby hairs and come back. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, perfect. So I'm done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this brown AF beat. It's just nice and neutral and cute and a glossy lip and probably a look you've seen me do before, so just not in business. But anyways, <laughs> we're redoing it, we've revamped it. We look good. Yes, you know what the difference? I found the whole thing looking crusty, musty, and dusty. A little bit of good sunlight and yes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. Anything at all, leave it in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.